Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the Heart of Iron. In a Russia where the Decemberists' rebellion was successful and the Trans-Siberian Railroad was completed before 1854, Sasha Trubetskaya wants nothing more than to have a decent debut ball in St. Petersburg. But her aunt's feud with the Emperor lands Sasha at university, not at a university, not at the university, just at university, where she becomes one of the its first female students. An experiment she suspects designed more to prove female unsuitability for such pursuits than offer them an education. I mean, to offer them education, not an education, or just offer an the pressure intensifies when Sasha's only friends, Chinese students, start disappearing and she begins to realize that her new British companion, Jack, has bigger secrets than she imagined. <clears throat> Sasha and Jack find themselves trying to stop a war brewing between three empires. The only place they can turn to, to for help is the heavenly kingdom of great peace. China, pretty much. Newly founded by the Taiping rebels, I think that's how it's pronounced, pursued by the terrifying Florence, Dame, I mean, Dame Florence Nightingale, no, she is not terrifying at all, of the British Secret Service, Sasha and Jack escape across Siberia via train to China. Sasha discovers that Jack is not quite the person she thought he was, but then again, neither is she. Okay, um, where do I get started? You know, it's basically, um, girl, you know, goes out and it is, you know, constantly being thought of as not that strong or whatever. Hang on, just the camera. Girl is like, and then she goes out, goes on an adventure and stuff kind of already seen that before with the uh, Mulan and probably a few others that I can't remember at this moment. But um but then again I saw but I'm always interested in alternate history so I decided to take a look. And it was boring. I mean first there was this whole um like I guess it kind of makes sense I guess having all the guys being racist and sex it's being the in the 1850s, you know, but, um, nonetheless, um, even so, there's still, there's nothing interesting about any of, like, even if you go with the whole blank slate type character, like, none of these characters are interesting, like, um, you know, um, you know, first there's this whole uh, convoluted scheme by the British to like um, apparently like their their China wants people in China want opium to be illegal, so um, they outlaw but British don't want that, so they have the opium war, and I, I guess the British lose in this history because the Chinese have airships, and um, well um, so the they want to have this scheme where they try and get Russia to declare war, to go to war against China, and like that'll weaken them. But I don't really get why they want to need to do that since China's already in this civil war, like it said here. Though, and um, so I think they would already be weakened enough by that. So um, yeah, and but furthermore, it's like none of the, the characters really have anything interesting about them. I guess, like, um, the, the two only characters I could think of that have any memorable traits would be, um, Florence would be uh, the Aunt Eugenia, I think that's, I think that's how, it's, how it's pronounced, and, um, Jack. And really, the only trait that, Eugen that her aunt has is is she's kind of a smart alecky type person and the only traits that Jack has 
is that he can jump high. Like, that. that's it, you know? Um, for the, also, I, and I couldn't really get interested in much of the story either, you know? It was just boring, you know? And I can't really think of anything more to say on this other than, you know, my final rating is my first ever one out of five. It's not offensive or any of, thing, any of that other stuff. It's just, or it's not offensive or rage-inducing or anything like that. Like that. It's just boring. So, bo like, the characters are boring, the story's boring. It's overall just boring. It's probably the worst kind of bad you could think of, because at least if it's something like this, like that, you know, it'd probably be something for me to talk about. Like, with, um, you know, with, um, was, uh, Out of the Dark, you know, there's plenty of stupid stuff for me to kind of rant on on there, but, you know, with this, and, or even, like, um, and even unlike the Silmarillion, it's like, if you can sort of power through the boring stuff, then you'll find some good stories and lots of interesting stuff, but there's none of that here, it's just boring, boring, not something I can really see myself recommending, it's just boring. Anyway, um, until next time, hopefully, I'm sure the other book that I have planned will be as well more would be will be much more interesting since well <clears throat> well we'll wait till uh, till I'll tell you when I get to that but anyway till next time see you later and have a nice day.